actually the control car with Brandon Jones dropping to the rear. It's a short track Saturday night. Off we go from Martinsville. Was able to get a good launch, but not be able to get all the way down. Pitches uh, the exit for Sheldon Creed. Should be able to take the lead here into turn three. Look at Jeb Burton making it happen in that outside lane, driving the 27. Right, so these are the first laps these guys have made since yesterday. You know, I mean, they sat around all day trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to do to our car? How's the racetrack going to be? So you're kind of learning under fire. Everyone's trying to settle in. Jeb did a really good job of getting down into third. And you see Eric Amarillo really working hard to try to clear himself in front of that five, and he does. Anthony Alfredo, great qualifying effort in the five car, driving for Al Motorsports. Here's our Toyota onboard camera, Al Marola fourth. As Ryan talked about in the pre-race, you look at the color of this racetrack once we get into the concrete here, it's very bare. And you're going to see that turn blacker and blacker as runs go. But when it's that bare and that clean, all these guys are going to really struggle on that outside lane. And that's why you see this freight train happening. Everybody's trying to get single file on the bottom because that, that's where the best grip is. And you don't want to stay on the top too long. You know, I feel like it kind of chews your tires up. So I feel like you're, you're really seeing guys push the issue to try to get down to the bottom. Just in case this thing goes, you know, the whole whole first stage run, you don't want to really tear your tires up. And you see Parker really trying to, trying to get a hole and just can't find one. And that's, that's kind of the... The, the thing about this racetrack, you can't really go anywhere sometimes, and you're just waiting to hopefully a hole opens up and then you can get down and then kind of just start getting in your rhythm. Parker's all the way back in 18th, and he's the only car on the outside lane right now. Riley was able to get that small gap, and he's probably going to pass the 48, and, and that's going to really put Parker in a really tough spot, and he's going to have to start getting desperate. Kligerman off to a good start this year, driving the 48 for big machine racing. And going for the extra $100,000 tonight. It's at Brian Orge 48. Brennan Poole looking inside of him in a 44. And finally, Parker's like, thank you. I finally have gotten down. You know, there's so many instances. I just see the 20 go inside of Jeb. I think Jeb's letting him go. 20 pretty fast early. Maybe Jeb, uh, Jeb's going to learn a little bit from the 20, see where the 20 is a little bit better. I think Amarillo's driving angry after you made him mad in that interview a few minutes ago. I'm never going to live that one down. I hope it wins tonight so I can go to victory lane and be like, hey, does this make up for fall? Never apologize for winning. Hey, That's if true. this car is anything like the one they had last week at Richmond, he's going to be a real threat because they won both stages and led 95 laps. Handle kind of went away in the final stage, but he finished second, a part of a Joe Gibbs racing one, two, three. And now we check in on those drivers coming from the back. You got Brandon Jones there in the nine. Saw Sammy Smith. In the eight, they've already worked their way inside the top 25 or so. You talk about what a detriment it was to be stuck on that outside lane. Brandon Jones is almost up to Parker Klegerman, who got stuck on the outside. He's only two cars behind oh. him, as we see a oh, lot of contact. Spin. Three, three and four. It's been out. That's right. Dexter Bean in the 92 going around. Yeah. Caution's a theme at Martinsville for the Xfinity Series. Did a good job for not really hitting anything. He kept uh, kept it off the wall. But this is a. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a product of a little three wide, some dive bomb action. You're going to see that a lot tonight. And I think, unfortunately, Dexter was uh, had the bad end of it. Yeah, so Sammy Smith gets a really good run off of two, decides to take the six in the 92 three wide. And... Um, Room runs out really quick here. Yeah, I don't think those guys were, were quite ready for that. I don't think it was a bad move from, from Sammy's part. I mean, he started at the back, but I don't think anyone was ready for that move. The balance of patience and aggression. Early caution here at Martinsville. Cole Custer is your race leader. 